Hi guys, welcome to the computer graphics programming lecture series with OpenGL. Today we will study the primary function that is point or pixel and how to perform different operation on this point and pixel function. In OpenGL we are having uh, this function for to draw the point on the screen gl begin gl points gl vertex to i2 stand for the two dimension and i stand for the integer x and y is the point position or pixel position x is the horizontal direction and y is the vertical direction gl point size this is another function we are going to use to increase the size of the point here 3 stands for the three pixel of the computer screen we are considering as one pixel so now let us start for this purpose start the open g visual studio the code you can download from the uh, given description visual c++ select visual c++ empty project write the name of the project you can give some name point one two or lab 1 2 whatever the name you want to give you can give we are having solution explorer the name of the project external dependencies header files resource files and source file right click on your project name go to add button add new item here select C++ file write the name of your file name point one two. you can give any name this is the workbench we want to copy the code here this is the code copy the code paste the code on the workbench uh, the main function uh, we are having uh, plot in it argument c argument v all these function we have already discussed from in the lecture one you can see you can watch the first lecture for discussion of this uh, function what is the work of this function uh, here we are displaying our point function gl begin gl point gl vertex 2i xy suppose that you want to give the color of the point 1 that is red color this is green is 0 and blue is 0 the point size you want to give 4, 5, whatever the point size it's many is there 5 pixel, pixels from the screen it will consider as 1 pixel 100 100 this is the code this is the color of the object GLN up to this point this is our main code to draw a point to execute the program we need to add the external dependencies for OpenGL library for this purpose right click on the project go to properties how to set the environment we have already discussed in the first lecture you can see in the detail from the first lecture we need to add the external dependencies cc++ general go to the additional include directory edit go where is your glut and glue file is there this file you can download from the first lecture series the link is given from there you can go to the first lecture video and download the link for glut and glue select include folder don't go inside the include folder select the folder only the second one is for the glue same thing where is your glut and glue go to the glue file select include folder select ok now for the linker file go to general additional library directories we need to add library file here go to the desktop or where is your glut and glue files this time select library same thing we need to do for the glue library select ok 
for input additional dependencies edit here write here free glut dot lib and glue 32 dot lib all these operation we need to do to execute the program again uh, we need to add the dll file dll file from glut and glue you can copy the dll file these two files all these operations you can download from the first lecture series open folder in windows explorer copy the file here to execute the program close this one now our program is ready start debugging build solution ok glut idle function idle because we are not using this time this glut idle function this is the point uh, its size is 5 pixel from the screen the background is black color the color of the pixel is red now we want to perform the different operation on this color suppose that uh, we want a random point on the screen for that purpose this code which I make comment uncomment this code this is the glut idle function what is the work of this is the uh, for glut idle function this is also OpenGL function uh, actually it recalls the function which is written inside this function is responsible to recall the function which is written inside and in this one we have written integer xy xy is the pixel position in place of the pixel position we will write xy you will see different operation what is the operation exactly xy and in place of color we will give the variable name rgb in this program we want a random pixel on the screen for this purpose the screen size is actually for us 640 and 480 the window size is 640 and 480 so we want to fill the complete screen with random color so what we did here we are using a random function a random number generator uh, which is the function of C++ include stdelete.h that's why we are calling this uh, header file otherwise no need to call this header file because this function is defined in, in this header file so we are calling this one actually random function why we are doing modulus function 640 because we want to pack all the random number inside the 640 if you will not write the 640 uh, see the operation and result for this one you will get uh, now we want to execute the program we are getting one pixel another pixel another pixel another pixel actually uh, if you will not write the 640 and 480 random number will generate a number which may be outside the screen so it will take time uh, we should be inside the screen of the window so after this one 640 and 480 
all the pixels will be generated on the screen will be fast because we packed all the numbers inside the screen this is the output for this one now we want to do another operation the size of the pixel we are having big size write the size one again debug the program in this time you are getting this output A random number is used for the location and also we are having random color if you will see all the pixels are random color how we did this thing here we are calling for RGB that is for the color for the object this one is RGB here RGB in place of giving the fixed color uh, fixed color we are writing RGB variable uh, here R for the uh, red color G for the green color and B for the blue color we are calling random function and modulus 9 divided by 8 it will give the value 9 when we will divide it by 8 because uh, in the last lecture we have studied that the color will be given between from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 0. it should not be more than that for the simple color if we are using if we are using glut single mod or rgb mod then we need to do this thing from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 so for this purpose we are using r float because this is float value random number it will generate the random number and modulus 9 it will give the value uh, from 0 to 9 and then divided by 8 so it will give the value from 0, 0.0 to 1.0 same thing for the green same thing for the blue so each and every time when this idle function is calling glut idle function when it is recalled it is generating the new color and new pixel position for this one rgb point size you can increase from your xy and this function we need glut post redisplay on the screen that is uh, glut post redisplay what is the work of this function actually this function will hold the output from the previous screen on the screen on on the output only so this function is also very important glut post redisplay it should be written inside the idle function so that it will hold the previous screen if you will remove this function you will get only one output on the screen the last output this is the output of our program if you want to change the position suppose that uh, for 320 and 240 this is the output for our res result you can perform different operation you can make the output for the center screen also so this is all about the function gl begin gl point that is if you want to display two dimensional point on the screen we can use this function and point size is used to increase or decrease the size of the point or pixel here we are using one new function glut idle function that is recall the function which is written inside this one and glust post redisplay will hold the previous output on the screen so we have studied all these three four things uh, other remaining things we have already studied from the first and second lecture series this is the third lecture series actually uh, lecture video thank you for watching the channel please subscribe the channel for more videos for in this channel we are having the complete lecture series for the computer graphics in OpenGL for the beginners thank you once again for watching the channel
please subscribe the channel